I'm with Georgie from Trefusis Merino Stud at a property at Ross. And Georgie, you won the National Fleece Competition this year for the third time. What does it take to produce a fleece that is high enough quality to win the competition? Oh, Jolie, it takes a lot of uh, passion, a lot of dedication, um, a lot of hard work. Um, you know, I'm very passionate about the wool industry and um, I try to, with whatever I do, I'm probably a little bit of a perfectionist. I like to try and do the best I can. Um, to win an award like that was absolutely amazing. It means a hell of a lot to me and to a lot of the other people that are involved, like Andrew Calvert, our classer, and um, John Groves, who managed here for 25 years. It's certainly a team effort. Um, but to get a fleece to that point, takes a lot of planning and a lot of hard work and starts from right back from our breeding selection um, you know putting what what rams to what size over what use um, then you've got to you know obviously go through the lambing process and um, you've got to try and um, you know look after the sheep to the best of your ability um, and to try and grow grow those young lambs out to you know good big productive sheep um, then it's all to do with uh, when we make our selections Andrew this is probably where Andrew comes in selecting our show team um, you know the fleece that won at this this year's Bendigo show she was junior champion um, fine medium wool you at Bendigo last year uh, so we select those sheep uh, they are then shedded from about uh, November through to Bendigo sheep show time um, and she did very well there. Uh, went on to be, you know, a very big productive sheep. She ended up cutting 11 kilos of 19.1 um, micron wool, which is a very, you know, an amazing weight for a, for a show ewe, or for any ewe for that matter. Um, yeah, so then we, you know, you bring her back from Bendigo. Um, we, we shear all the sheep that come back from Bendigo. Um, I store those fleeces. Um, and then, you know, come just up to before Campbelltown show, which is usually end of May, um, get the fleeces out of the packs and um, skirt them and prepare them. Uh, that fleece ended up being grand champion fleece at Campbelltown show this year. Um, yeah, so you know, I, knew, I knew it was a very good fleece, but um, look, I would have been happy if it had won a place in its class. Um, but to go on and uh, win grand champion fleece out of some 450 fleeces from around Australia is, you know, I find absolutely mind-blowing. I'm still pinching myself, really. Uh, so, um, you know, it was very exciting. And, uh, you know, it's certainly, it's, um, it's great advertising for the stud um, and for this place and certainly doesn't do you any harm. So... Um, no, it was it was very pleasing.